Hello and welcome to another update video about the DXY. The DXY is currently just following our main scenario, our primary scenario. You will remember that we've been leaning towards a decline here in this C wave to the downside. It's currently following through and I'm quite happy with the progress we are making here. Um, been highlighting this for a few weeks that we should get this C wave to the downside which could target then the low $90 region in this C wave. And so far, yeah, I mean, since the moment when we broke out of this trend channel to the downside, the market has pretty well actually followed this forecast, um, not in a very, very straightforward way. So it's been a bit painful, lots of ups and downs, ugly overlapping price action here. And we need to talk about this structure to the downside, okay? because this is creating some problems. However, in um, my preferred scenario, let's go to the eight hour chart, but just to zoom out a little bit, just for anybody who's new on the channel as well. Um, yeah, since, since last year, we've been tracking here this decline that we're calling an ABC structure. So we had the A wave down in five waves, then here a flat structure in a B wave, A overshooting B wave to the downside, C wave to the upside in a larger B and then this C wave to the downside in a five wave move wave one wave two wave three wave four wave five and this is an ideal scenario that should take us in quite a straightforward way into the $90 region in the coming months. Is it going to be that straightforward? Well, well, <laughs> it's rarely that easy. It's rarely that easy. I have a problem with the decline here and I only see three waves down. So this is the moment, basically a bit of a make or break moment here. Um, I'm going to explain that when I, when I zoom in in a minute, but I just want to help you understand the bigger picture that we're watching for this larger A, B, C structure, which then could either be a fourth wave or actually a larger A wave, which will result in another B and another C to the downside. That's what the future will tell. It's too early to speculate about that really. Um, but all of this really tells us that we should be in a very, very long sideways range for a very long time. Yeah. I mean, low $90 region is not really a crash. Yeah. And then we get high, high, um, high. <laughs> We go up in this B wave or even the wave five and um, yeah, it's going to be choppy. Okay. It's going to be choppy for a long time. It has been really um, throughout 2023, just sideways. Okay. It's a sideways correction that has played out here. So, okay. Let's talk about another scenario, which is becoming very likely with this decline, because at the moment I only have three waves down. I need five. If I have five, and we might get five and we talk about that on the smaller time frame in a minute. Yeah, then I have five waves down and then I can look forward to this um, decline in a C wave at the moment, only three waves down, which means that first of all, I want to take this price channel off the chart. We don't need it anymore. Um, the thing is this B wave can easily extend. Okay. Um, not my favorite scenario, but one that due to this three wave move down, I have to bring onto the chart. And to give you an idea, it, it isn't really changing our overall assumption, but it would be this A wave down, yeah. Then A, B, C in not an A, not a B wave. So not this B, but in basically an A wave of the B wave. This here to the downside is a three wave move. So it might just be the B wave of the B wave. And if we now see a quite aggressive rally, and I'm going to tell you what the first level is that we need to watch, then this is likely the C wave in B. And then we can talk about this drop down. So that would literally mean probably 2024 rally. Yeah, uh, we'll see. It's it's a bit too, too early to really confirm that. So let's take a look at the shorter time frame wave count. And I can tell you the following. So what I would have liked to see after we broke out of this trend channel to the downside, what I would have liked to see, uh, it would have been a nice five wave move to the downside in wave one, circle wave one. 
Now we have broken support levels. Great, that was forecasted, but I don't like the structure at all. Yeah, I yeah, don't absolutely don't like the structure at all here of, of uh, what's happening here. So this could literally be an ABC structure to the downside and lead to this more extended rally. I have adjusted um, resistance now and um, this is going to be tested first, right? So we've got resistance between and it seems like this third wave down is now finished. So within circle wave one, which is part of that five wave decline in wave C, within circle wave one, we only have three waves down complete. Um, so this here could be the fourth wave. It seems like it has started. But if we break above $105.30, yeah, then this would be the first and earliest warning, hint, indication that something different is going on, something more bullish. Because a way four, even in a diagonal structure, should not break beyond or above the 61.8 retracement. It would just become very unreliable. So that's my, yeah let's say not really make or break point, but that's the, the level. If, if the wave four breaks above that level, it's going to be a shift in probabilities. And that break above 105.30 yeah, would indicate that something more bullish is going on, at least in the short term. So in the ideal scenario, we get rejected there and then come down. But I want to make you aware of this alternative pathway, which has become much more likely due to that choppy price action to the downside. Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't really have, it, have considered it. But obviously the market is always telling us the things we need to know. So if we can read and understand that language, um, then we definitely need to be on the lookout for potentially a higher B wave. And the wave counts and the patterns tell us that, you know, if we get this higher B wave that I showed you in the beginning, then this is the, the, the ideal time to start it because we have now three waves down, which would be an ideal ABC structure as well. Um, on top of that, the move down isn't really impulsive. So yeah absolutely um, an invitation for such a higher B wave. But if on the other hand, we get rejected in this resistance area, then move down in wave five, then we've got this nice five wave move down, then we can watch for a three wave corrective rally that will set us up for a breakdown in 2024. Hope that's clear. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, there are also video updates as well as updates about stocks and shares, then check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.